We are prepping the transoms. Uh, we cut off all the excess glass around the edges. Um, I just rough sanded all the glue surfaces. Um, so it's going to be one side of two panels and then two sides of the third. And what we're doing is we're going to take all three transom panels. We're going to glue them together with a mixture of medium density filler or kaleidosilica mm -hmm. and resin. I'm going to take these blocks and we're going to run a two by three across the top of the blocks and the blocks will actually just put pressure kind of evenly across the panel and we'll clamp the two by threes right down on the ends on both ends and then we'll clamp all the way around this that'll give good pressure in the middle and uh, I was going to weigh it but because we're bringing it inside we're going to have to stand it up. And, and whose idea was that? That was Cassie's idea. <laughs> She's super smart. <laughs> So Cassie, I don't know if you can see this, is over here mixing some resin, getting ready to go. And she's going to mix it with the drill and then throw some silica in there to thicken it up. And that will be our glue. I have taken a spatula, cut some grooves on it to make them a little spreader. So it leaves a good amount of glue ready to go. And uh, I'll be quiet while you're fine. They can hand me over the drill, I think. <laughs> Just wear it like a I think we're alright. <laughs> it's a bit. It's a bit what? It's a bit. Um, it's not a bit much because if I. I didn't more, say much. If I had more clamps, I would totally use them. All right. Well. That's it. That's it. This is what we have done to our transom panels. Uh, we had three panels originally. Glued them all together to make one solid panel. We used a uh, total boat two to one with a kaleidosilica filler. Today we have to take all the clamps off, trim everything out to the finished size. We will have to route out the foam on the interior edges here and here where this narrow section is, hopefully you can see. Um, and then we'll fill that with a rolled up fiberglass, uh, unidirectional fiberglass, wet it out, and we'll clamp all that to, you know, in there, probably using like packing tape or something. All right, guys, so I'm going to trim off all the, all the excess from the bottom two layers of these. Uh, the top layer is actually final size. Um, what I'm going to use is just a circular saw with a 60 tooth blade and the AccuCut system by Craig. So what I'm using to actually rebate the foam material, I tried it on a scrap piece already. It's just a round uh, deburring tool um, stuck in my drill. I don't have a die, an electric die grinder, so it's just stuck in the cordless drill and I have it on high speed, the highest speed it goes to. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to work it in. Um, I believe it's about a quarter inch that you're supposed to go in, so that's kind of what I'm aiming for. And that round is probably about three eighths, so it should fit right between the glass just perfectly. So. Here we go. So I'm gonna go full depth all the way to here, right? And then from here I'm gonna taper out, so. Stuck. 
Oscar. Keep, just, just keep them moving, you're fine. Oh, just kind of rub it a little bit. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's alright, you're doing fine. Right. <laughs> you just gotta make sure it's not too wide. So what if we do it no. on? No. no. Has to be sideways. Okay, yeah. fine. Taking all the fun out of it. Huh? Huh? Well, it has to be one continuous piece on. Oh. You can't do it in like multiple pieces. It's got to be one piece. Oh, I see. Strength. So we're gonna have to like roll this thing up in like one giant sausage. F that. That's gonna be so hard. That's what I just said. <laughs> oh my god. You really don't listen to me, do you? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Little light. And then that will go in there like so. And you just gotta make sure it sits flush when it's done. Which it looks like it's gonna be just about perfect. And then we'll tape it in. So that'll be that'll be good. That's really all we need. Alright guys, so what we're gonna do is uh Cassie just ran in to grab a sweatshirt quick. And we are gonna try this uh tonight. We're gonna wait, but uh you know, it's still early and uh, why stop, you know? So, I'm just gonna kind of brush this stuff off quick and then I'm gonna start getting some rough measurements on the length of glass from just about nothing here all the way up. So. To there. And try it. I think we're gonna have to deal with the taper part. What is it? Got it. Yep. This is actually going in pretty easy here. Yeah. Fucking thing. This is the f***ing stupidest design. Oh, let's roll up a f***ing sausage worth of f***ing fiberglass. Yeah, sticky, yeah. slippery resin. I'm Very shoving in this red. gap that you made. I hope so. Got it? Okay. All I gotta do is just get a flush. And I'll trim these ends real quick before we tape it. Or I'll put a piece of tape there to hold it and then I'll trim the ends. Okay. I don't think that actually doesn't look too bad, <laughs> surprisingly. There's gonna be massive air pockets. No? I don't, I guess, I, I mean, to the best we can. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I wonder if he did it just to like get a good laugh. To see if people would do it. <laughs> Look at all these idiots trying to. <laughs> Well, Australians are, sorry, out. notoriously, you know, jokey. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wrapped this, a lot of this around. I think it's going to be all right. I don't like how there's like air voids in here, though. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what the else to do. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> the silliest thing I think I've ever seen. Alright, so tonight we uh, took some fiberglass, we wetted it out, and rolled it up into basically sausages, and we stuffed it inside the rebated core in the transom on the narrow areas. Um, we had issues the other night doing this, uh, we were having way too many air pockets, so tonight we actually put a bed of thickened epoxy down prior to installing the sausages, and uh, yeah, uh, we put boards on top of it tonight to clamp everything together, and tomorrow we'll take it all off see how it looks and we'll probably layer a layer of glass over the whole thing just for uh, peace of mind. Cassie is taking the excess resin from the transom job, uh, mixing more filler with it and we're just touching up any voids we have before we start fiberglassing. She's doing a fine job at it. <laughs> doing something to it. I just put the boards here to uh, help compress everything down into slots and keep everything flat. So it should all just pop right off hopefully. I put tape on everything. If all else fails, get a bigger hammer. Filled nice and flush here. A little bit of sand to do real quick. I think it should be in pretty good shape. Let's see if I can get a good shot of this, you guys. A couple little voids here and there, but I should be able to fill that right up. All right, so I got to prep everything. I just got to sand this all down, get everything scuffed up good, so I can put another layer of glass over the top and clean up some of the drips we had from. Uh, Install in those tubes. Alright, so I don't know how well you guys can see this. All this pink stuff that you see kind of here, it's actually the sandpaper getting torn up by this fiberglass. It's very, very abrasive. So that's what the sandpaper looks like after uh, maybe five, ten minutes of sanding. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to blow out all the dust with the uh, compressed air. And then uh, we'll hit up some acetone and we'll be ready to fabulous. Alright, so we are going to just put probably two layers of fiberglass over this. Uh, I cut one a little bit shorter than the other just to allow for easier transition there. Um, what I'll do is I'll mix, uh, we're going to use Turtle Boat 2 to 1 resin uh, with a slow hardener, just to give me enough time to work. Slow hardener here, and uh, I'll mix the resin. I'll wet out the glass uh, on the bench, and then I'll add some total bolt silica thickener, and then that will allow me to fill any voids prior to putting the glass down. Uh, so I'll fill it with the thickener, and then put the glass right over the top. It'll already be pre-wetted, and yeah, go from there. So we are going to do the other side of the transom here and just rebate the foam. Same thing with the uh, fiberglass uh, unidirectional sausage. Uh, the bottom is all done. Uh, fiberglass over the top just to give it a little bit of added strength. We didn't have to do that, but it was an option. Um, so what we're gonna do is just rebate the core here and all the way down and around. And that'll just re-stiffen this whole area up here and should make it pretty solid. So that'll be the plan tonight.
And we'll see how, how good this came out tonight. The other one was a little different. Uh, had some air voids in it. Ooh. That's why we taped everything. Oh, this was way nicer. Cool. So I'll just have to sand this real quick after. Check. Check, don't lose that red piece. <laughs> cool. Thanks for Shabby. One sacrificed uh, flexible cotton ball. That, that actually gave a pretty good surface there. Ow. Careful. Yeah, it did over here too. Yep. Cool. So we took a flexible cutting board and just cut it. Just put the smooth side down, taped it in, and it gave us a nice corner here. Um, obviously, I do got to sand off the whole rough spots here and the excess tape that stuck and tore off. But looks good otherwise. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. So uh, we'll sand this down. We're going to put one layer of glass over the whole thing. Uh, probably two layers of glass over the whole uh, sausage unit. And these are the sausages. I don't know if you can see them, but those are the sausages that stuck out. And uh, yeah, that'll be done for the transom. We'll be able to install. Cool. With more than a hundred COVID patients, what you know, what are you to me two weeks from now? Thanksgiving and having a lot of cases. Put the uh, smooth side down. Huh? It oh. worked out a okay. <laughs> <laughs>